Hey everyone, this is Yanni. Today we're going to be looking at three different ways of looping through data and times. Looping is a common method to iterate through a list. If you want to follow along or look more closely at the examples, you can go to the story library and import the explore loop example story into your tenant to further dig in on each action and function note shown on the video. The first and easiest way to loop through a set of arrays in times is to use the explode event transform action. Explode allows you to loop through each array that is specified in the path and output multiple events related to each specific array that exists. This is useful when you want to perform enrichment or further actions on each specific array in a new unique event. The second way to loop through events is with the event transform action in message mode with the loop option enabled. The main difference with this approach is that a single event is emitted instead of multiple. This allows you to create a new single event using array data that has been looped through. The third way to perform looping would be use tags. This way comes in handy if you have two different groups of arrays and you want to loop through them. If you are familiar with Python, this will look similar to how a for loop is constructed. And that wraps up the three different ways to perform loops and times. 